Well, here we are. I don't know what day it is on our transit. Our transit from Palamo to uh, mainland Spain. But we've had uh, we've had to motor about 60 hours because we have had no wind. We, as little as two nautical miles ago, it was dead flat. And now I don't know whether you can see this, but we've got spray on the windows. She's uh, she's blowing rather rather quickly. We've just got to flog it out for two hours, or yeah, two and a bit hours. The God of Wind, Mr. Huey, he's a strange little dude. Nothing for 60 hours and then bang, 25. <laughs> Good on you, Huey. Love you. Oh! That was Lou from the galley, she's making coffee. <laughs> Take a coffee break. Oh, beautiful. I'll turn around. Got it. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, are you having one? Yeah. Beautiful. Couldn't have been served at a better at a better time. Ah, oh, beautiful spot. Beautiful spot. Beautiful. And now we're off to the fuel booth. Not so beautiful spot. <laughs> That's a money pit. Yeah, it is. Okay. After having motored some godordinate amount of my hours the last eight, nine days. Yeah. On the Bowser, it's a Euro 26 per litre for fuel. Then he tells you when you get there, it's one Euro 10. Score! 400 litres, in you go. That's a good price. Haven't seen that price for a little while now. Huh. So, and to boot, you can go over there for two hours for free. So we're going to pop into the supermarket, I think, just to get some, I don't know why actually, Rick just wants to go to the supermarket. I think he just wants to get a couple of bits of fresh food because we're now down to non-fresh food and we've got about three days to go. <sighs> I'm tired. This is called Tad Baraka. When we were coming in, this is 4.5 meters of water now out here. And we touched bottom ever so, didn't, didn't even know we touched bottom until I realized I wasn't going ahead. So it was just a soft touch uh, last night as we we're anchoring up. But other than that, beautiful spot. So different than being, I mean like the mainland's just down here. The, how many people live on it, Rick? 60. 
68 people live on there and I imagine they're all fishermen. Boy, we're off again, mate. Boy was sick yesterday. We don't know why. Hey, wasn't Rocky Rolly. But he was a little chunder upper. Rick's planning to where we go to today. It's nearly 30 nautical miles south, of course. And it's in a little, like a lagoony thing, isn't it? Yeah, very much. And we'll probably stay two nights there, so you'll get to see that. We're hiding from the Southerlies. So, we get wind, and then it's on our nose. We're, uh... We're going past a lot of fish farms. Almost ran into them. Um, and, uh... We now believe... We may have caught... A fish! Oh, she's caught a fish. What do you want me to do? What did you say? I've lost it. Gone. You're kidding. Yeah, it's gone! But over your right shoulder, that's your left, is the camera. So talk to the camera. Well, we went. <laughs> we had a fish. I don't reckon we think we got it jumping out of the water, but it's gone. However, I'm pretty pleased it's gone because I really believe it was the small one. So it had enough time on the with me yanking it in. So if it's going out again, have to go past fish. What a disappointment again. Spanish coast. Fish farms in the in the foreground. So what did I just do? I not see early enough. Because the mast was hiding it, which means I was being lazy and not getting up to have a look around the mast. So tell me what I nearly ran into. Your lips are sealed. What, there's no, because I'm not feeding you any fish, it's not worth opening your mouth. <laughs> I'm not telling the world, it was just, gosh. Don't be lazy, get off your bum and look around the rigging. You just don't know what's behind it, like, maybe I can't catch a fish, so I decided to sail through the fish farm. Oh my gosh, it was, it should, it was wrong. It was just wrong. It's got fencing all the way around it, that we would have run straight through. Yeah, it would run straight through the fencing. Without a doubt. Would have been it, a mess. It, yeah, it would have been a mess. And the bill for all the damage? Oh, shit. Ah! Hey, <laughs> we might not ever be coming home if that's the case. We might be doing, <laughs> doing ditches in the jail to pay the fine. But, um, anyway, it was averted, thank goodness, thanks to the happy go lucky skipper I have here who hasn't growled at me once. Gods must be smiling on Louie today because it's only been 15 minutes since we last had a fish and she believes she's got one on now. Excuse me, boy. Let's have a look. I better check out the front to make sure we don't hit any fish, Bob. joining the fishes. Uh, something about said having the first he who last 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 best or something or uh, you know anyway karma has come to visit me. I ragged out on uh, one of our good supporters Alan about Queenslander. Well Origin 2 
we got an absolute drubbing. So, Alan, what do you say? apologies. And because of that, mate, I gotta do it. Sorry to say, team. Oh, he's a good mate. <laughs> Yay. There you go, Alan. I'll wear this today for you, okay? <laughs> go Queensland. <laughs>